Okay, there we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and we are back on Ustream.tv with another segment on a Friday morning show. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for being here. We did a little uh, just goings-on, this and that video for about an hour before this one. And I will be, well, you'll see the upload of the, the one with the... Uh, journal giveaway in a little while okay making room here making some room because we have out the big art scroll now this is <laughs> i was going to try to use the the half size one all this is when i call my I call it my art scroll it's just where i sketch out some animals or whatever we want to do this one happens to be all animals i think but it's just a roll, 30 inches long, roll of craft wrapping paper. You can get a roll like this at any you know place that they sell. You know, of course, Michael's Hobby Lobby, Staples, anywhere uh, that they sell wrapping paper. It's just craft shipping paper, shipping paper. And it's a 30-inch roll, and it's only like 4 bucks. And, uh, it, and you can use coupons on it, so you can get a whole roll for like 20 Two dollars, twenty dollars for like two dollars for a whole roll. Now I have other ones that I've cut this in half, and you should see me try to do that because I'm scissoring out and cutting and cutting and cutting. But if you cut one in half, then you have a nice 15-inch piece of scroll that you can go this way with and roll it out this way. I tried to find one of those, but I've used them all up, so they're all full. So I <laughs> don't have those to use today. Let me make a little bit more room with my lappy there. So if y'all have any questions, put it in caps. Hey, Sandy. Anybody else popping in? Thanks for being here. So um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and and uh, I'm gonna scroll this out and we'll just use this. The, the reason I wanted to use the cut and half one and go this way is because it's much easier to um, do on my desk, especially with the, you know, under the camera. Let's turn that down a little. But in the meantime, I'm going to just go ahead and scroll this out and show you what we have in this one, and then maybe do some animals, or some of the girls were asking me to do some prompts and just impromptuing it. That's a little, that's a little iffy, right, iffy? <laughs> that's a little, uh, we don't, we never know where that's going to lead, but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll start with an animal drawing and work our way into some uh, mixed mix, um, prompts. All right, so uh, so again, I started doing the scroll this way, and there's some little uh, slow lorries that we sketched out. But I, as you can see, I can't turn the paper without it like hanging off a foot off my desk. So I had to turn it this way, so we started drawing this way. So again, this is quite large. I mean, look, see, that's quite large, but it, um, let me see guys, I'm trying to get it all adjusted for a different size everything here. Where's my, re, 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 readjust, because I want it to show up. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that, come on. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so if y'all have any questions, put them in caps. <clears throat> so these are all the animals that we've drawn on this scroll over the past, oh, I'd say last year, last year or so. Just different animals, little different paint tips and whatnot. <clears throat> I'm not going to stop and talk about each one because uh, we've talked about all of them. Just probably go back and look at art scroll animals or just look at animals. I probably, it's probably in there. Uh, so we've just drawn all different kinds of animals. Some are just sketched out, not, not painted in. Some are just some studies. And we just pick, you know, somebody will say, oh, I wanna see a, a turtle. So we'll just go on Google and find a turtle and draw a turtle. Yeah, Pedro the uh, octopus, that's right. Linda did some uh, octopus paintings and sold them. That was awesome, Linda. There's a seahorse over on that side. Remember, this is like 30 inches wide, and I'm just trying to... 
And then we did a pug, but we turned him into, y'all know, Count Pugula with uh, glitter eyes. So there's Count Pugula. <laughs> and then we tried to do a Frankenstein giraffe. He he turned it looked more like Mo the Three Stooges than Frankenstein. But we did do <laughs> we did a um, we did a Frankenstein giraffe with his little scars on his face and everything, bolt and electricity on his neck. <laughs> anyway, guys. So yeah. <laughs> Packing paper. Yes, yes. Pa this is packing paper. <laughs> We're back. Oh, yeah. I sent uh, one of Julie's granddaughters an ocelot. Yeah. So, anyway. Thanks, guys. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> Frank and Raph. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if we want to start with an animal. Again, on the prompts... On the prompt cards, if I just, you know, randomly picked one, let's just, just randomly pick one. Let's just go, bam! Okay, so it's a crawling lizard, a red-headed girl, somebody's mother, and a rocking chair. So I know that these cards are from, these cards are from that little duck game set, that little vintage set. And I don't know how you play the game. I have not read the instructions on the game from the little card set Kelly sent. So I'm not sure what the deal is, is how to play the game, but I think that it's awesome for inspiration, for um, inspiration for drawing, right? So a crawling lizard. Now, whether we're going to do all this, because we can also do the Jazz's arty game, right? That's the kind of same thing where you combine different things. But I'm just thinking I'm going to pick one thing off of there to draw, like, for instance, a crawling lizard. So let's go ahead and just draw a crawling lizard, shall we? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to roll this off in, onto the floor and into my lap because otherwise it's kind of like in my way. So I'm going to roll that all the way down to the floor. And we're going to use, let me get my Sarah sticks. My Sarah sticks here to hold the, hold the, see how it does? It just holds it, holds the scroll. They're made for calligraphy and they have little little dents in them for resting your calligraphy pins on, but it's awesome for holding the scroll. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. We have a nice big black blank canvas. So let me make some room here. Let's find a white pencil to start with. Another thing about drawing on the craft paper on, on the show, it's so much easier for you guys to see. When I draw on white paper, you, you can hardly see anything. I know I've got a bigger white pencil than that. Hang on, guys. Let me, let me find a new pencil. I know I got a new white pencil somewhere. I'm going to find them. When I buy a new one, then I just throw them in the box, and then I can't find the new ones when I need them. There's another little one. I just think I need to buy me some new white pencils. Sounds like a trip to Hobby Lobby to me. Oh, I have some more around here. They're just in different, they're just in different spots. Nope, that's not one. That's, the, that's an oil pencil. Hang on. I don't know. We'll dig one out here shortly. Hang on, guys. You know, I've got thousands of pencils and I can't find the one pencil I want, right? All right, well, we'll go with this. We'll go with the larger of the two. <laughs> I have a pencil extender if I need it. A red-headed lizard sitting on a rocking chair. Yeah, there you go, Eileen. All right, so. <laughs> All right, now what I'll do is I'll find a picture of a lizard. I'll find a couple pictures. We'll just start with the lizard. We'll play with that. Now, I am zoomed in one. If it, if I, if it gets big, I can zoom out a one click because I'm only zoomed in one click. All right, so I'm going to just go to Google Images and find some lizards. Then we'll go back. We can do more things. We'll see where it goes. Let me warm up. <laughs> Where's your mouse? Yeah, I need a mouse too. Okay, so let's see. Let me get over here to Safari. You know what? Instead of doing it here, let me get my iPad. I can see it better. You know, rather than my phone. Oops. 
Okay. It's easier for me to just sit my iPhone back out of the way. Let's see. All right, let's find some lizards. Lizard, lizards. All right, if y'all have any questions, put them in caps. We need a lizard and a mouse today. We'll see. All right, so let me go to images and let's see what we can find. There's there's so many different ones, you know, and they're all, some of them have those big eyes that the eyes move in the eye socket, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Some of those. This one's kind of good. I like the colors on this one, even though I think it's a photo changed colors. But let's go with this one. Let's see. All right, let's get a sketch. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Terry, yes, Terry, we mentioned Jazza. Good grief. Terry has a Jazza crush. Okay, I think I, if I start right here, I can fit it in. Maybe I need, I might have to back out, guys, because I think I'm going to need more space. Let's back out. We're gonna back out. One. <clears throat> Can't really see anything here. And my camera's crooked. Yowza. Let's straighten her out. What's Delio? Hmm. All right, where's my focus card? Hang on, guys. It looks pretty focused, I think. It needs to be brightened up a little. How's that look? Okay, I think we're good there. Big lizard. Big lizard drawn. <laughs> I got this papers all the way down in my lap, down my legs, and resting on my feet. <laughs> all right, so I draw with white just so that y'all can uh, you can see it easy, right? You can see it easier here. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick. I got a couple different ones, but I like this one for the color. So we might pick one lizard drawing and another one for a color. So you know, if you want to play along or whatever. Play along. <laughs> Doesn't have you don't have to draw my lizard. Find another lizard. Just draw. Just draw. So he's going to be way too big. Well, you know what? I'm going to draw, concentrate on his body, and I'll just make his tail come off the page and back around. Because I'm not going to have room to do him straight on here if I draw him this big. He's going to go off the page. So we'll do him off the page, but we'll have him come around. His tail come around, right? <clears throat> and then that eyes on the other side, of course. So I'll just hang out and draw and paint and whatever. We're gonna just try just draw a lizard for right now. That's 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 the plan. Just drawing a lizard right now. <laughs> And this is, this, uh, I don't want to confuse you. I know it's going to probably confuse you if I have excess lines where they go, what's that part? But I'm going to paint over everything. But at the same time, that's just where I made a circle for an eye on the other side. But his eye's not really there. It's on the other side. Over there. Let's do it this way. I think I'm going to tilt his head a little more. So we'll just play, 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 play for a few minutes. And we'll see if we end up with a prompt something. Let's go some rules here. 
I said, I'm already going to run out of room. Oh, man, made a big, way too big, I think, guys. I might need to redraw him smaller. Sharpen again. I'm playing along being here and drawing in my head. Oh, brother. Drawing in your head. Good grief, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh gee. He's got five toes. I didn't know lizards had five toes. The kind that have, you know, the the claws on them. They have five toes. Hmm, that's interesting. One there and one there. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Let's bring it down. Let's make them a little bit smaller here. We can, it's our lizard. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> it's our lizard. Okay, gotta sharpen again. It goes quick on a big piece. Now he could be partially behind, you know, something like that. Right. And this is, you know, kind of how I do the fantasy animal posters um, when we do the uh, big animal posters. You're going to hear crunching because I'm leaning up against, I'm leaning up against it. And let's see. I want him to have more. I mean, he's got some kind of stripey stuff, but you know what? I almost want him to have, uh, what are those flappy things? You know, I guess they're called flappy things. <laughs> I want him to have flappy, flappy kind of skin things, but I think I also want it on his head. There's a, that's a different kind of a lizard, the kind that has those, you know, the big things on their head. No, is it under their neck? Or is it, where are those? You know, the kind that they almost look like they could fly. <laughs> I like crunching too. Um, you know, the kind that have the, I could look it up, but I'm not going to right now. They're usually red and they have the skin, you know, flying, you know, so they could look like they're flying and it's under their neck, sometimes on their head, I think. I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be our imaginative one. I mean, we're going to make it, make them up. We're just getting the, we're getting the idea here. <clears throat> some toes and then he'll have kind of a little bit of web between them maybe. And then let's go ahead and make that thinner and fatter up there. That ex that extend when they run, yeah. The, like a neck flap and I mean I think it's on their is it on their under their arms too? I don't remember. I can look it up. That is that an iguana that does that? Okay, I don't know if all iguanas do that, do they, Eileen? I mean, in Florida, you would know. Okay, so then I want his tail. His tail is going to come off the page. It's going to come off the page and then back around. And I'm, I'm sure I'm making this tail much bigger <laughs> than what they, uh, they look like in real life. But it's our imaginative Lizard. Let's go this way with it. Let's go. Something like that. We'll put paint on it. <clears throat> I think this needs to be a little thinner though. I don't want his, that edge of his tail that big. He's kind of looking, he's kind of like tilted at us this way. Are they frills? Is that what they're called? 
the frilled neck lizard yeah that's that that kind of you know that kind of stuff <laughs> but I was thinking about doing that on his head making that you know I know he doesn't have a frill flap on his head I'm just this is our imaginative one I'm thinking he needs it kind of like um, I'm just thinking he needs to have it come around like this. It's going to start looking like a dinosaur, right? Something like that. And then we'll have it kind of, yes, he's turning into a Tyrex. Tys what is it? Tys Tys yeah, the Rex. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to paint him in. We're going to paint now. <laughs> we're going to paint. All right. That's as far as we're going to go with the sketch. And we'll see what happens. It's just paint. If it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. But he's turquoise, kind of um, a, a sienna color. Not that. It's more yellow ochre. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with a couple shades of uh, ochre. Maybe a sienna and some turquoise black and white. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to need more paint on, you know, something this big. So uh, <clears throat> and we're going to go with raw sienna. And I'm just getting my inspiration, just getting my inspiration from him. Do I want it to be bluegrass green or more? Do I want it more? I kind of really want him a real turquoise. This is not, it's kind of something in between that I need. Something in between. But I love me some bluegrass green. So I'm going to go with a couple of colors here. Don't want this. I think I do want this one. Let's go with these two colors. Let's go with bluegrass green. This is all impromptu or improv. <laughs> improv painting. Well, it's not really totally improv. Okay, I'm going to dry it out. Because I do have a sketch. Okay, I can't get the lid off this one. Let me go back with this one. I'm almost out of this one. Let's just take the lid off and pour the rest out because I'm going to need quite a bit. <clears throat> if you have any questions, put them in caps. Well, he could be a chameleon. I don't know what he's going to chameleon, chameleon with in turquoise, but probably any of our studios. All right, let me get a baby wipe to keep my hands clean. We'll see where this goes. All right, now I'm going to need black and white. Let's put that on another palette here so I don't get black and white mixed in with my colors. Some black. Some white. And I probably am going to need just a little bit of a darker reddy orange. It was a little darker something something. So let's put out a little bit more. There we go. We're going with this. We're going to go with it. We're rolling with this. <laughs> Alright guys. Let's see. Let's see. We'll work for about an hour. We'll see what we can get done in, well, it's already 30 minutes in. Let's see how far we can get in 30, 45 minutes, shall we? <laughs> All right, so. I'll start here. I'm just going to block him in. It's not going to look like anything for a little while. Just want to have a little play, as they say in the UK. Have a little play, as they say in the UK. Hope y'all can see. Hope y'all can see. Just want a base coat. Let's start blending in some some pretty turquoise lizards to choose from.
Now I want that, uh, got to remember I'm putting my own spin on the, what do you call it, the fan thing on his head. I'm just going to make that up. He looks like he has an attitude already. He has an attitude already. He's <laughs> got some stripes in there too. Okay, let's block in his leg here. He has a really big head. He's kind of tilting this way and his little arms and everything are a little small for his body, but that's why he has to have this big thing to help him fly along because his head's so big. So we'll see. If this gets long, we'll go into another part because I don't want to have any upload problems. Well, I should say I don't want to have any download problems, actually. You want the lizard? <laughs> All right, let's go over here. A sip of coffee. I need to warm my coffee up. Thanks for stopping in, Lynn. All right, now I'm going to kind of decide. I think I want I want some of this to be this color because I want it to be a different color than his body, so it really stands out from his body. His body's right. See, I think I want this to come right. There, no, I want the whole thing. That whole thing. I'm gonna fix the little side of his head there. So this is just craft paper, craft paint. Don't be afraid just to get in there and play. Right, let's fix the shape of his head there. Don't be afraid to get in there and play. Let me hit it with the heat gun so we're not making a, oh wait, let me go ahead and block in his feet because I don't want to make a big, uh, you don't want to make a mess with mixing colors and turning them into mud. The other one's behind somewhere back there. You can't see it. <laughs> we're, just, we're going with this. All right. Let's hit, hit it with the heat gun. Yeah, the colors too. This is going to be more yellow. I just blocked it in. I don't want to be putting my arm in any paint either. 
Let's see any blobs. This gonna, it needs a bigger body. Hang on. I gotta add I gotta add a bigger body. He looks a little he looks a little frail. Let's fatten him up a little. Let's make his leg a little bigger too. Let's go ahead and fatten him up a little. Bring his leg up, his tail a little wider. Something like that. That's a little better. He's a little fattened up. Okay. Now, let me see if I can move some things over here. I don't have much room to shift him over. I mean, he's like, it's right at the edge right there. I can't shift him over anymore. All right, let's go ahead and start with his eye. I always like to get the eyes in there. Not too much stuff on the desk. Too many pencils I'm not using. All right, let's get a small brush. Oh. All right, if y'all got any questions, just throw them in caps. Okay, that's still, still wet there. <clears throat> I think I'll put a shadow right under there, too. He's going to have a shadow under here. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I need to zoom in, guys, because it's going to be... But I'm going to be all over the place with him. You know? I'm going to be all over the place with him. I need a little bit of it. I'll go with a sienna eye. And I'll also be getting a heat gun out it every now and then too. Like now, because I'm already blending too much. I need to layer, not blend. <laughs> See if I can leave this here because I'm going to need it. Oh, I need a bigger desk. I need to rearrange my room and make a double desk. That's what I need. Okay. Put some pencils over here. Do you have any questions? Are we good? Y'all talking about your ages? All right, I need a little bit of shine right here. Shine them up. I know it looks funny, guys, but give me a minute. Got to do it all in stages. We got to do it in stages. It depends on how realistic or how um, fun, you know because I kind of go in, in my fantasy animals are kind of in between got a little bit of realism but they're also kind of um, I don't want to call them whimsy where's Jay <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we don't want to say oh, they're whimsy. Yellow ochre. Where's my yellow ochre? Why am I missing pencil colors? Dang. I need to, I need to uh, definitely need to organize my pencils and sharpen. This is what happens on impromptus. If you're not an impromptu person, don't email me. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. <laughs> Can y'all see, guys? <laughs> Are y'all able to see or do I need to zoom in? I can zoom in while I'm working on the face if y'all need, but I'm going to be kind of all over the place. Right now I'm just on the face, but pretty soon I'm going to be, you know, going all over. So... Y'all tell me. Oops, that one broke. You can see? Okay. I know you can see the whole thing, but it's kind of hard to see the detail. I'll, I'll, you know, hold them up and do something later. Okay, good for you guys. But for, you know, if you want to see the whole thing, it's kind of, um, now, when you see my arm go over here, I'm just sharpening pencils. Yeah, we kind of went off the prompts, but, you know, even just one thing sometimes can take a while. You know what I mean, Vern? Paintbrush. That one's too big. So it's just a mixed media. It's going to be both... Uh, Pencil and paint. Steffi? Anybody else coming in? And I got some inspiration off this lizard on the Google Images, but I'm not trying to copy it exactly. I'm just, he's my inspiration. He's got a bigger head. This is not on the picture. We're just kind of rolling with it. Rolling with it. All right, heat gun. <clears throat> Remember, you got to have your paint dry before you go in there with color pencil. What reptile is found in the Sydney Opera Opera House? The Lizard of Oz. Oh my gosh, I love that though, Eileen. 
Uh-oh, pencils are flying into the trash now. Hang on, we can't have that. Can't have that. <laughs> I'm writing that down, Eileen. That might need to just go into the wingnut book. <laughs> okay, I'm back over here. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more colors of paint. Oops, that's not dry. See, that's what happens when you try to go in on wet paint. <laughs> I'll not turn. Oh, you're talking about ages. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> so I lightened up that area with white so I can go over it and with a color and it's bright. See how much brighter it is? I think you can see that. I know it's hard to see detail this kind of far away, but we'll get zoom back in occasionally. And again, we'll probably have to do another part because I'm not going to get very far in the next 15 minutes. I don't think I'm going to get far in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to get some paint in there. It's kind of getting the eye figured out here. I don't want it to look. Because I want them looking at me, not away. Where's my Posca pen? Let's do a nice little... Oops, that one's not open. Let's do a nice little highlight under the eye there. Let that dry. All right, let's do a little paint, more painting. What brush do I want? I think I want to do a little bit of finger painting here. And then some texture. Let's texture up our little buddy here. Gonna draw in we're gonna draw in scales so we just want something in the background give it a little texture in the background Do you, do you, do, what do you think of AARP? <laughs> I will tell you this. When uh, my mother-in-law was alive and Hubster turned, uh, when he turned 50, my mother-in-law sent him a gift, <laughs> gift certificate, well, gift, uh, gift, what do you call it? Not a gift card, but a gift, a gift of AARP to him when he turned 50. And he called up my mother. He knew it was from her. It said, it said, you know, the gift. I need a little, hang on, guys. I need a darker brown here. Let me find something here. Um, oops. Let me go back. 
Um, let me let, hang on, guys. Let me uh, find my get my picture back here. Let me just take a picture of it. it's easier. Take a picture of it lasts longer. <laughs> and uh, my mother-in-law sent him a gift certificate. What do you call it? Not a gift card. A gift certificate. A gift. A gift. Uh, <laughs> And so he called her up and said, Mom, I got some bad news. She goes, what is it? What is it? <laughs> she, Hopster could trick my mother-in-law into anything. I mean, he's, she would believe anything he said. I got a, I got a, somebody sent me a AARP. <laughs> that just, you know, she goes, oh, egghead. That's what she'd call, that's what she would call him. A subscription. Thank you, Terry. Subscription. <laughs> Send him a subscription. <laughs> um, so he has a subscription to it. That's about as far as I know. I mean, I don't know what kind of opinion you want me to, you know, say about it. <laughs> like how good is her insurance or anything like that. I can tell. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I'm just adding some texture to him with my finger. Finger painting texture has a whole new meaning for you now, Prisma. <laughs> so you can just see I'm just adding some textures to him with finger painting. We'll go in there and add detail with color pencil. So it's not exact. You you can't if you're gonna if you're gonna paint like this, you can't worry about something being exact because it's finger painting. <laughs> if it's if you get into an area you don't like what you do, then you just pick up another color and go over it. Or you can paint the whole thing out and start over, right? But it's it is uh, it's finger painting. <laughs> We're finger painting here. I'm just doing a light, like, dry brush kind of thing. It's kind of like a dry brushing. Just to give me some texture in there. Hubby signed his co-worker on a drugs. I'm here to do it on the day. Call him once and this is it. So I'm getting a couple of shades of blue here and just kind of I want to texture him up. You could do this with a brush too. I just like playing. I like getting in there and playing with it, you know. A little bit darker. I do have my baby wipe handy so that I can, you know, do whatever. Clean my hand off as we go. So just want some texture stuff. And remember when I told y'all, you saw the sketch that I did of um, another lizard, just a, a drawing of it the other day? And I, I want to do little worlds in the animals, remember? A, like a different take on my animals where I have little worlds in each of the animals. I'm not doing that on this one, but I am thinking about that while I'm doing this. I'm thinking about that, 
that what I want to do with that. The little worlds within the animals. Or on top, you know, on the animal would have a world in it. Is he coming to life yet? <laughs> I'll show you that sketch here in a minute, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Okay, so I think in here it's going to be darker, but I still want them to have some stuff going on. Let's divide this up a little. Can't wait to see this. Oh, the other one done? Yeah. Hey, Cat Ann. Thanks for stopping in. We're just finger painting a lizard. <laughs> well, we sketched them out first, but kind of making them up. Started with a idea, but we're mo we've moved on. I've got a, I've got too much paint right there. Let me get. I gotta need to let that dry. It's gotta dry. Okay, so remember, he is going to have this kind of a dinosaur-y type thing. On his head. So we're going to have to have a lighter color along his head or a darker one on there so it sh there's a distinction between it. Let me go ahead and just put a little bit of white along the edge for now. We can always either lighten it or darken it, but I want to separate it from that. So let's go ahead and put uh, more blue. I think I wanted blue. I think I wanted a couple shades of blue, but yeah. So we'll have his... Uh, I want to get into his head there, though. Thanks, Cat. <laughs> Loving the lizard. Love us some lizard. Don't want them connected right there. there Alright, a little bit. Get a fresh baby white. That one's full of the paint. Yeah, I don't know where this lizard is, you know, because <laughs> it's a combination of a couple kinds. But I love the name Lizard of Oz that um, Eileen said. Lizard of Oz. I have no idea where this one's from, but we can make it whatever we want. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit more texture in there. And again, we're probably going to have to do another part. Because I don't want these more than like an hour. Try not to anyway. All right, let me dry this real quick.
Okay. Oh. Now, back to my pencils for a minute. <clears throat> Sharpen. In the dark blue. It's gray. You don't want gray. Okay. Ruby slippers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all always want to do, yeah, I know, we had, um, I don't want it to look anything like um, our alligator, um, what was her name? Mimi. I don't want her to look like Mimi. Mimi's on the other scroll. We have another a scroll that has Mimi on it. Okay, let's see. I do kind of want to I have to divide that up because I don't want his head lost. In that background. I'm going to have to start making some splotchy looking skin and then I'm going to have to decide how much detail of scales I want to show. I don't know how much scale detail I want to show. A few, a little, a lot. Um, it's going to be Lizard of Oz. Yes, Lizard of Oz. Just a little bit or a lot. Kind of has a little turtle, <laughs> a little, little like a turtle almost. I don't know. Mm. Here, let me go in and zoom in just a little, guys, because I'm not going to get to the body right away. I'll probably just be only working. This is all I'm probably going to have time for for even another hour. It's just right in here now that we got carried away. So let me go ahead and zoom. And I'll just kind of shuffle it over. Let me read with my card. Let me refocus. Let's get it refocused here, guys. Let's see what this looks like. Right, now I gotta kind of move things around a little bit. Let me move. Hang on, I'm gonna move the camera. Whoops, I gotta loosen it up there. Oh. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna shuffle the camera over so you can 
to be in camera. Because it's a big sheet of paper. See? It's a big sheet of paper. I might be too zoomed in. We'll work on his face for the next five minutes. And then I'll readjust everything. How about that? I'll work on him for about five more minutes. <clears throat> okay. It's like a zipper mouth. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't it kind of look like a zipper? That would be kind of cool to put a little... Uh, let me see. I can't move over one single inch. I'm all the way over to the edge. It would be neat to put a little zipper pull right there. You know, I got to look at one. What are those, you know, the little zipper thing? You know, like that. <laughs> no, it looks like he's smoking something. Dang, I don't want him to look like he's smoking something. It's supposed to look like a zipper pull. I have to look at one to really get it exact. So, because I don't want it to look like he smoked. That's why I put that little thing there. But. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to. I'm going to go ahead and start another episode because. I don't want it too long, right? I don't want this to get too long. And so we'll come back and work on it a little long. Now, I doubt we're going to finish this today, guys, in the, even in another hour. You know, we, we I, and I don't really necessarily try to. If we can't, we can't. But if we can, you know, <laughs> make the end a little, this end a little wider. Okay. Let's see here. If we don't like it, we can always paint it out. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's, yeah, I don't want him to look like he's, well, I won't say, because, you know, we have, <laughs> does we don't want it to look like that. So I think what we'll do is we're going to end up, we're going to just get rid of it. We'll get rid of it. I'll do a couple shades. I'll do this color for now, and then I'll put a lighter color over it to get rid of it. Yeah. Wasn't happy with that. Okay, let's get back to the... Let's get back to him. I'm trying to do scaly stuff. That's just white so that I can go over it with yellow so that it still shows up. And I know it's going to still probably look white, but it, uh, it, it brightens it up just long enough for me to put a color over it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> little scaly things. We already had Mimi smoking a cigarette. That was enough. <laughs> right? I think that was enough.
sharpen. <laughs> I'm gonna get turquoise pencil. A couple of them here. So then under here, let's do some more lizard, I mean some more, almost looks like snake skin right here on his bottom lip. Kind of snake skinish. All right, I'm going to have to stop guys so I don't have a problem uploading. All right, so if you're watching this, thanks everybody for being here for this segment. And we'll see how far we get with our little Lizard of Oz. <laughs> so I'll be right back, guys. Let me save this one.